you know, us uh, publishing the expected supply, the UK government demanding that we took that out of the public domain, but being quite happy to brief these figures uh, through spin to the media. So I've said to my officials, actually, regardless of what they say, I think we'll just go back to publishing the actual supply figures uh, from next week so that we all have uh, transparency around that. And and on the, uh, the figures that Ruth Davison's quoted, as I said to her last week, if you extrapolate those figures from, uh, the, to the UK, then yes, of course, we have allocations of doses. We draw those down. They come into health boards and go to GPs. Um, of the doses that have come into Scotland so far, more than half, uh, way more than half, are already in the arms of people, and the others will be going into the arms of people over the course of the coming days. This allocation we've got, we've got to plan for how we uh, use that to allow us to vaccinate all of the groups that we have prioritised within the timescales that we have set. And I come back to the key point here. I know everybody across the country, all of us, without exception almost, want to get this vaccine as quickly as possible. And I know GPs and other vaccinators want to do it as quickly as possible. But we are on track in terms of the targets we've set 